Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what we're going to do today is we're going to do another weaving project except we're going to use that same waist strap looming method without the cards and I'm going to show you how to set up a heddle string and a warp string to open up those sheds to put your wefts through and you can do this very simple with just cordage and sticks. Now I'm making about a 15 foot strap and I've dyed myself some hemp to a dark brown. So I've got dark brown and the light natural color hemp. And remember that without the cards, everything is going to be warp faced. So I'm going to alternate the colors of dark brown and natural to give me that slight pattern in my utility strap that I'm making. And I would recommend everybody make a utility strap like this about 15 feet long. It can be used for anything from a tump line for load bearing to a bedroll strap over your shoulder to a set of backpack straps for a Roycraft pack frame to a sash that goes around your outerwear to hold your utility gear outside and cinch up your outerwear. There are lots and lots of things you can use this for and it doesn't take a lot of room or weight up in your kit to have a 15 foot nice heavy hand woven strap wrapped up in the bottom of your pack. So I'm going to set this up today. I've got the strings already on it but I do not have it set up and ready to do any weaving yet. So I'm going to show you how to do that because we need to set a couple strings up on here first. Stay with me. Okay, so the first thing I did was I took a piece of paracord and I just tied it right here between the warps. So I've got one set of warps here, one set of warps here, and that's basically just where I wound them over the top of the stick. The top ones basically have this, and that's my warp string. And my heddle string is going to be on the ones that are below this on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this in a little bit on itself to get this neatened up a little bit before we put the strap on it. So this is what we have. And then we have a piece of string between right there. Now what we need to do is we need to put a heddle in here. And the way we're going to do that is... Okay, so now I'm going to separate these again so that I can give you a good example of what we're going to do. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a heddle into this thing. And we're just going to use a small cross stick for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to just tie a slip knot on the end of this stick really quick. Just like this. And cinch it up on one side just like that. Now we're going to remember we want the bottom strings are what our heddle is going to be attached to and we have to go underneath everything. So now we have to decide how long we want these heddle strings to be. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a twist in the line this way and put it over the top. We're going to adjust it down to where we want it. And I'm going to hold that in place and put another overhand twist in there like that. And that's going to create kind of like a clove hitch right there, knot. And that's going to be my heddle string. Now I'm going to have to reach down between the next one and feed it up again, just like this. Put a twist in the line and bring it up over the top. And I can adjust that down now so that they are the same length, just like this. Get it where I want it. And then I can hold it, put a twist in the line again and come over and cinch it down. And now those two loops should be approximately the same size. Then I go down inside for my next heddle string and I pull it up, put a twist in the line and come over. Again, I'm going to try to get it about the same as my other loops by putting it under some tension, just like this. And then put that second loop over the top to secure it down like that reach in and get my next string, come up, turn an overhand and pull it down, get it to where it's even with the other strings again, just like that, push it over, another overhand twist like that, come in, pick up my next string, 
Now when I get to the end and I have all my heddle strings even, I can just take a couple more half hitches over the top of this. And if I want to give myself a little bit of a loop here on top, just get this centered in. This is just going to make it a little bit more convenient to have a loop on top of it. It's not necessary at all. Now remember, I control the tension on this loom by how hard I'm leaning back on it. If I relax forward, everything loosens up. If I go backwards, everything tightens up. That's the beauty of this waist strap loom. So when I go to open up another shed over here and pull my wefts through, I want to make this fairly tight and lift up so that I can drive my sword through there or my beater stick correctly like this to open that shed. Run my shuttle through and my cordage. I like to give myself a little bit of a tag loop there and just pull that loop down right to the edge like that. That gives me a pretty good strong weave. Now on this one, when I have to open up the shed loop, I'm going to lean forward a little bit and let the loom relax so that I can pull up on this and open that up, then slide my sword in, tighten up and open it. And that's going to force that shed open right there, just like that. Then I can slide my shuttle through there and my cordage and again pull it tight. Pull that up nice and snug on that loop just like that. Snug it down. Pull my sword out. Tighten up. Open up. The opposite side. Beat it down. Hold it open, run my shuttle through, pull it down to a loop and bury it in there really good and seat it, and then snug it up just like that. Drop down, relax a little bit, lift this up, put my sword in and turn it. That opens up that weft right there. Run my shuttle through, pull it down, just like this. Simple as that. Okay, so let's talk for a minute about making your own tools for this. A, first of all, you're going to need to weave this strap that you're going to use for a waist strap. Unless you're using a piece of rope or paracord like I did in the first video. This is just a dyed Inca loom strap and it works just fine. You're going to need a shuttle and these are made out of, both of these tools are made from hardwood stakes, like grade stakes. They were both made from the same stake. One of them is just an H that I use to wind the line on and shuttle it through so that I can put my weft through the warp. The other one is a sword or a beater stick and it does a lot of different things. A it's rounded and tapered on both ends so that it can go through these sheds really easy. You can stab it in there and sh slide it through those sheds. One side of it is fairly thinned down and sharpened so that when I pull it in here, it goes way deep into that weft at an angle, at a steep angle. The other side is not so much. The other side's a little bit more rounded off. So one side's good for smacking this down, and the other side, I just turn it up when I'm trying to open up a weft and hold it open like this, okay? These are really the only two tools you need besides just sticks from the woods and material to be able to 
weave anything you need to weave as far as straps and things like that go. So it's a pretty simple process. It doesn't take a whole lot of tools, which is one of the things I really like about it. It's something that you can sit in the woods and do. I could have this tied off to a tree somewhere sitting on the ground and accomplish exactly the same thing. I just put it on top of this plank bench right here in the classroom at the Pathfinder School so you guys can get better contrast and be able to see it a little bit better. And it's a little more comfortable for me sitting up than you know, sitting on the ground. But you could use a five gallon bucket and affect the exact same thing. Okay, let's talk about putting this project away to store it so I can work on it later. Maybe I don't want to sit here for three hours and that's about how long it will take to do a 15 foot-ish strap like this, about three hours. So if I don't want to sit here the whole time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my last warp right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my next shed just like I were going to weave it again just like that then I'm just going to take a spacer and put it in there and I'm going to connect it on here like this one side on this one one side on this one just like that and that's just going to hold my place right there and then I'm going to put my Shed strings over top of that, pull my warp strings over it, just like this. And this is kind of going to be the way I leave this. Then I'm just going to disconnect my belt, lay this down flat, and I'm going to roll up to this from the other end. So what I've done here is I've just put four 16-penny nails here. And I've just tied a slip knot in this cordage around another stick and put it down here at the end. So I'm just going to unwrap that off of there and get that stick out of my way and pull this out of the nails. And I'm going to pull this side, collect it up in my hand, just like this. And pull it down to these nails, just like this. And I can just set that off to the side for a minute. Now, this stuff here is secured in that weft right there, and I'm going to pull all of these tight. And now all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn a loop in it and pull it up and just kind of daisy chain this thing up like this in loose fashion. And I'm going to try to make it so that this last loop here can go over the top of the shed stick just like this. Now I can take my waist strap off of here. Get my I can cut this string off if I want to and then just splice it in after the fact on the next run or I can keep it with the project. It's not a big deal either way that I do that. And then I just kind of wrap everything loose around the stick like this. And then I can store that for when I'm ready to start on the project again. Well guys, I appreciate you joining me out here today for a look at another quick project and a different way of weaving with that same belt strap type loom, just using strings and a stick for your heddle and then a string for your warps instead of worrying about having to set up an actual loom itself with the heddle built into it. This works really good. It's less confusing than the cards as well. So if you just want to make a straight run strap with a single pattern on it, you know, of light, dark, 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 light, dark, light, something like that, like this strap is, it's a very simple process. So I wanted to show you that while we were in the weaving series. There's a couple other things I still want to show you, and I still have to build an ankle loom for you as well. We'll try to get that done tomorrow. I thank you for your views. I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything that you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back in another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.